Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the sun rising at dawn from a photo taken at noon. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. It's always a good idea to make a copy of your original image. To do this, press Ctrl or Command plus J. Go to Image, Adjustments and Variations. The Variations window will open. It shows large thumbnails of your image with various color casts and brightness. For this example, we'll check midtones. We want to give our image a warm color that the morning sun casts over a landscape. The variations you choose will depend on the specific characteristics of your photo. For this photo, we'll start with more yellow. Notice the Variations window conveniently shows our original image compared to our current pic. It could use a little more blue, so I'll click on More Blue. Then I'll click OK. Call up your Brush Tool and change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn and the Opacity 10%. Choose a relatively large brush size and brush over the landscape below the horizon. Make a copy of the active layer. Hide the top two layers by clicking off their eyeballs and click on the background to make it active. Call up your quick selection tool and then click and drag across your sky. If you're using a Photoshop version below CS5, you will need to use a different method like color range to get your sky selection. Check out my in-depth tutorial on the quick selection and refine edge tools which I'll include the link to in the description page of this video. Go to the top and click on Refine Edge. There are many view modes to choose from, but for this example, we'll use the black and white mode. Click on Smart Radius and slide the radius up to about 3 pixels. Depending on the amount of color fringe your photo has, you may want to check Decontaminate Colors. However, for this photo, I'll keep it unchecked. For this example, I'll keep the output as Selection. Make sure you have the Refine Radius tool selected. With a medium-sized brush, paint over the edge of the mask. When you lift your mouse or pen up, you'll see the Refine Edge tool does a great job finessing the edges. To close the Refine Edge, click OK. Make the other two layers visible and click on the top layer to make it active. Click on the Layer Mask icon and that'll make a layer mask next to the active layer. Click on the layer to make it active and call up your Gradient tool. Click on the little arrow next to the gradient thumbnail and click on the black to transparent box. We'll change the blend mode to normal and the opacity to 50%. Click on the foreground color and choose a very dark blue. I'm choosing 070D44. Go to the top of your document, press shift, drag down to the horizon and release. Make a new layer and drag the opacity to 100%. Go to approximately the middle of the landscape, press Shift, drag up a line to the horizon, and release. In the Layers panel, change the Blend Mode to Multiply and the Opacity to 66%. Click on the New Layer icon. In this layer, we're going to add our morning sun. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with black. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Change the brightness to 75% and use the 50 to 300 mm zoom lens. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it between 65 and 70 pixels. Change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge. At this point, the glow is illuminating the land a little bit too much at its horizon, so we'll use a layer mask to take care of it. Click on the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask and call up your Brush Tool. Slide the opacity to 100%. To increase the size of your brush, press the right bracket key a few times. Now brush over the land up to the horizon. Make a new layer. We'll use this layer to punch up the sun and give it a lens flare. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with black and change the Blend Mode to Screen. Go to Filter Render and Lens Flare. Make the brightness to 50% and keep the same lens type. Click on the flare and move it to approximate the position of your sun. 
Now click on the flare on your image and move it to the center of your sun right to the horizon line. Click on your landscape layer to make it active. Let's brush in a warm yellow color in the sky at the edge of the horizon. Make the blend mode color and change the opacity to 20%. Click on the foreground color and choose a warm yellow. I'm using FFC C1C. Now brush in a horizontal line over the horizon. Click on the new layer icon. This made a new layer above the active layer. Go to the layer mask and press Control or Command as you click on it. This will call up its selection. Press Control shift i or Command shift i to invert it. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the empty layer. Notice the layer mask is inverted. Click on the empty layer to make it active. Change the blend mode to linear burn, make your brush larger, and brush over areas of your landscape that may need to be silhouetted more. Click on your top layer and press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac to make a composite snapshot. The last step is to vignette our image. Go to Filter and Lens Correction. The Lens Correction window will open. Click on the Custom tab and slide the vignette amount to about minus 60. This darkens the perimeter of the image. The midpoint amount brings the vignette either closer or further away from the center of the image. We'll slide the midpoint to about plus 70, which brings the midpoint a bit further out. Using these techniques, you can transform photos of most landscapes or seascapes into breathtaking sunrises. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.